If you can believe it, we are now just over two months away from the total solar eclipse. The countdown just passed 66 days. In Burlington, plans are coming together and are almost complete in a lot of areas. One thing everyone should be very aware of, parking and road closures, because it'll be a lot. ABC 22's Matt Holderman live in the newsroom to fill us in. Yeah, Lauren, that's right. If you can help it, that Monday is not going to be a day you'll want to drive through Burlington, especially downtown. The city is now projecting anywhere between 35 and 50,000 visitors, essentially doubling the population for the day, and many of them are coming here by car. Now, to make sure there's enough places for people to park and also walk, the city has already announced Battery Street will go down to just two lanes for the day, one lane in each direction, and College Street will be closed from South South Winooski Avenue to the waterfront. Now that covers downtown, but the big closures will be in the old north end. Park Street and Route 127, also known as the Belt Line, will both be closed for the day to be used solely for parking, shuttle buses, and emergency vehicles. The city will be charging $15 per car for parking on the Belt Line, and they expect to fit about 500 cars there. I spoke today with the festival and event director at Burlington City Arts, who's helping coordinate these plans, and he says they're doing that largely because other options like the UVM and uh, University Mall parking lots won't be available, but also because they've used the Beltline for other large events in the past. The unique thing about this event is it's it's a Monday <laughs> like any other day on a lot of levels, right? So businesses are still open. University of Vermont is still has residents there. Um, it's different from, say, the July 3rd event where we can park cars at UVM or um, other malls. And largely that's seen as a holiday. The Beltline really came um, on the table because we had used that during the pandemic. If you I don't know if you remember, but we um, had lines of cars to pick up uh, Thanksgiving dinner out there and other food distribution happened on the Beltline. And Williamson also noted other cities in warmer parts of the country that are in the path of totality might be using fields for extra parking. But for us, April is generally mud season, so that is also not an option. With the Beltline closed, traffic on North Avenue will likely be a bigger issue that day, so that's something to be aware of. And the city is also considering more parking on Pine Street right now, but no official word on that just yet. If you want to stay up to date on everything happening in Burlington for the eclipse, you can visit burlingtoneclipse.org, and we will also keep you up to date on our website, mychamplainvalley.com. For now, live in the newsroom, Matt Holderman, ABC 22 News.